guys welcome or welcome back to another video today's video is going to be all about how i fan as i lash and how i fan in general and retention and all of that good stuff so let's go ahead and jump right into the video before we start i just want to uh let you guys know about the star of the show which is my volume tweezer it's called the pick me up volume tweezer and we also have a matching isolation tweezer they are this adorable pink color and i'm just absolutely in love with them if you are interested in purchasing these tweezers you can do so at shopzlashes.ca um and as well as pick up some other goodies if you are interested um but i just want you guys to go ahead and look at the grip on those things i'm in love um anyways let's jump right into the video um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is just generally fanning. Um, if you are confident in fanning, then you can kind of skip towards the end of the video and just learn how I fan as I lash. Um, but if you are not confident in fanning and you're maybe just a beginner, then don't worry, this video is for you as well. Also, I just want to say, excuse my voice, guys. I'm like low-key losing my voice, so... I'm sorry if you hear my voice crack. So if you're struggling to make fans, it could be a couple of reasons why. One being that you just need to practice. Um, another reason could be the tools and the lashes that you use. Um, I personally think that your tweezers are the most important tool when it comes to fanning. Um, so if you already have a good pair of volume tweezers that you like, then really make sure that you take care of them. Um, put them back in their case, don't drop them, all of that stuff. Um, and then when it comes to the lashes that you use, I don't really think that um, the type of lashes really matters Like when it comes to fan making uh, because I feel like honestly all lashes are the same. Like I haven't really used lashes that were so horrible. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So what most lash techs would do is uh, make a fan like this, set it down or make a couple and then go ahead and adhere them to the natural lashes. Personally, that is not how I like to lash because I like to get the wraparound method. So I like to um, place the fan as soon as I make it on my client's natural lashes because then my lashes will wrap around and I'll get more into that later. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump into how. So the main important thing when it comes to making your fans is also how you pick up. So don't pick up too quickly. Don't pick up too slowly. And you really want to make sure that you find that sweet spot for your tweezers. So as you see, I really take my time when picking up lashes. And that's what you want to do as well. Um, yeah, like I really can't stress that enough. Take your time and uh, find the sweet spot like right here what I'm doing I really take my time to pick up that's probably the longest part of me making fans now that you have the lashes picked up and they have a straight base at the bottom which is exactly what you want you're going to want to take those lashes between your thumb and your index finger and pinch slightly and at the same time you're going to want to release pressure from your volume tweezers just a little bit okay so I'm going to show you guys that one more time so again, we are picking up, and as you see, I have one little stray hair, and it's okay if you have that. Just go ahead, and um, you can just like take that off just like so. And then again, you're going to want to take those uh, lashes, and I have 100% grip on my tweezers right now. They are all the way closed. I'm going in between my thumb and my index, slowly releasing pressure from my volume tweezers just by a little bit. And then once I have the desired fan shape, I'm going to uh, have them on 100% closed once again. Then you dip in the adhesive and just like that. You can also run it with um, a glue ring with ridges. I love these things. And there you go. Look at those beautiful fans. So now I really want to jump into how I fan as I lash. So before I get into how I do it, I'm going to talk to you about... Uh, like more about why I like to do it, what I think the benefits are, and why I think that you really need to get on it. So number one, 
I love doing this as eyelash and um, specifically this method because personally, obviously I can't speak for everyone, but personally, I feel like it makes me lash way faster and that is why my average time per set is about two hours. So it makes me lash so much faster when I lash this way. Um, so that is one great benefit. Another benefit is retention. So since I am not pro making these fans and I'm placing them um, on the natural lashes right away and I'm really giving them time to wrap around, therefore I'm getting the wrap around method which is giving me better retention and those lashes will really stay on there much, much longer. So for those of you that are not familiar with the wrap around method, it is basically just when the uh, lashes, when a fan um, wraps around the natural lash instead of just adhering on one side and just kind of sitting on top of the natural lash. As you can imagine, obviously when it is wrapped around the natural lash, it's going to last way longer. So that is just basically what the wraparound method is. So now let's jump into how I actually do this. So the most important thing is how you hold your isolation tweezers. So as you see, I have my isolation tweezers. I said isolation my isolation tweezers in my left hand and I'm ideally holding it mainly with my thumb and my um, middle finger so my index finger is kind of just sitting on the top right there what you want to make sure is that your thumb and your index finger are able to close without you closing your isolation tweezers so I recommend that you try this first on a mannequin before trying this on a human so that you're not poking them in the eye so you're going to want to isolate for your natural lash and as i have my natural lash isolated as you see my middle and thumb uh i mean my index finger and my thumb are touching so now i'm grabbing those lashes and i'm doing the same way that i fan and i'm just fanning them in between there the same exact way as I just explained and then I'm taking that fan and I'm wrapping it underneath the natural lash and I really like to support it and make sure that it's really on there before I move on to my next section. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. You're going to want to isolate for your natural lash and if you can see my thumb and my index finger were able to close and they're very close to each other so that I'm able to create that fan while my lash is isolated. Um, now we're going to pick up our lashes and look at my thumb and my index one more time. They're able to close while that lash is isolated, okay? So you're going to pick up your lashes take your time you have that nice straight base then we're going to go in right in between your thumb and your index finger and slowly release pressure this will create the fan there you go dip it in your adhesive this is just a little tip i like to run it through the ridge and then let go and hold my fan higher up so that i'm able to really get it to wrap around there and there you go then you can go in there, wiggle it, move it around, make sure that it's adhered from all sides and angles. And there you have it. That fan is not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to show you guys another um, example as well, just so you can, um, you know, see it for multiple times. I also like to use both my tweezers to isolate sometimes. I like to use my pinky. Um, so we have our natural lash isolated. We're going to pick up. The lashes to create a fan go right in between our thumb and index create that fan dip in the glue run through the ridge hold it higher up dip again and then we're going to go right on in there and adhere it to our natural lash and there you have it um so yeah that's basically the most important thing is just how to hold your isolation tweezers and get comfortable with holding them that way um, and making sure that your thumb and your index are able to touch as so. So yeah, that's really how I like to do it. Um, my tweezers are lightweight. They're not super heavy. So that's why I was kind of like, it was easier for me to do this. Sometimes when I use other tweezers that are a bit heavier, it's harder for me to um, control the tweezers as well as do this method. But yeah, that's kind of just basically it. If you guys know anybody that lashes this way, um, 
then let me know because I've never seen anybody that lashes like this. I kind of just started doing it and then caught on from there. But I did teach this method to my student and it was like she caught on to it really quickly. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys and that you guys can, um, you know, catch on to it as quickly as she did. Um, but yeah, take your time with it. Honestly, don't give up. You know, lashing is so amazing. And uh, if you really, really enjoy it, then I don't think you should give up just because it's hard or you can't make fans properly. It really is a working progress. But that was the end of the video. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And I just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. You guys mean so much to me. But yeah, those that was the video. Those are the tweezers. You guys can shop at www.shopzlashes.ca. Um, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at ZLashes. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a great thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.